And now, the general weather around Alaska. There's still a uh, high surf advisory out here for the Yukon Delta coast, St. Lawrence Island, Bering Strait coast there, and the north shore of the western Seward Peninsula, Shishmaref area, and also along the northwest coast here. The high surf advisory out tonight and tomorrow for uh, due to north winds gusting to 40 miles an hour, creating some heavy surf that may cause, possibly cause, some minor beach erosion. And from there, satellite imagery uh, showing, well, a lot of clouds, kind of a spin. That's a low pressure area there over on uh, Seward Peninsula, slowly kind of dropping east and southeastward. And a lot of clouds, showers, and areas of rain here over much of interior Alaska. Though clearing out today, some good sunshine. Uh, Southern Susitna Valley, down across Cook Inlet and into the Kenai Peninsula. And uh, also some light rain on the North Gulf Coast. Actually have a weak low here in Prince William Sound. That isn't really a big wind or rain producer, but there is a weak front right through here. And that's uh, brought about a tenth of an inch of precipitation to Yakutat today and some areas of light rain, mainly over the Northern Panhandle area. Otherwise, back to the West, uh, high pressure all through here for light wind conditions. And then the uh, Sierra Shield with the next system starting to push in toward the Komodorsky Islands. On the chart today, there's that high pressure out over the western central Bering Sea, making wind conditions light and, uh, of course, dry weather for the Aleutians all the way up to until you get to the Alaska Peninsula. Gusty north winds bearing straight up toward the northwest coast, specifically Point Hope, Cape Lisbon, anywhere from 30 to 40 miles an hour, maybe in some cases like Tin City, 45 miles an hour for peak wind gusts there, but lighter winds down across St. Lawrence Island and in along the southwest coast today in the interior areas. Still a little gusty with uh, rain, showers, areas of light rain, as I mentioned, and showers covering much of interior Alaska, except for Cook Inlet, Kenai Peninsula area, down to Kodiak Island and the Aleutians. And then this weak front here giving some light rain, mostly over the eastern North Gulf Coast and some uh, lighter stuff in over the panhandle. For tonight, that pattern continues. This weak front pushes a little farther to the east, so look for some periods of light rain or intermittent light rain for the north Gulf Coast to Yakutat, northern panhandle, and more showery conditions down to the south. Interior, not much change. Uh, look for showers anywhere from the Brooks Range, north slope, all the way down into mainly the Alaska Range here. Maybe the Chugach mountainous terrain of the Kenai Peninsula, as well as Bristol Bay with uh, and the Alaska Peninsula, the trough dropping through there. Another trough kind of enhances the shower activity over the Yukon Delta, and uh, still some gusty wind conditions. St. Lawrence Island back through the Bering Strait, and dry and light winds out here over the Bering Sea. You can see the warm front here with that next system. It's going to kind of link up with this trough here, and we'll see for tomorrow. We've got. Uh, quite an extensive warm front here pushing rain in toward Adak in the afternoon with increasing winds mainly back over the west and northwest Bering Sea. Uh, pretty sharp and strong ridge of high pressure in advance of that system. And then we've got the uh, general area of low pressure, the main center there in the Gulf of Alaska now. And, uh, but really aloft, there's an upper level trough covering much of the state and that's gonna keep it uh, mostly cloudy with widespread areas of showers or light rain. Also, some clearing periods, again, could show up anywhere uh, in the state. Uh, most likely place would be here with the offshore flow, Kodiak Island into Cook Inlet, maybe up here over the northwest interior, a chance of some uh, sun there in the afternoon. Periods of rain, light rain for the North Gulf Coast and into the panhandle with showers down toward Dixon entrance. And for the outlook on Friday, we still have this frontal boundary here hung up in the uh, central or eastern Gulf of Alaska. And that southeast flow will keep uh, moisture right up into the North Gulf Coast and the Copper River Basin in the form of some rain or showers. And also along the coast of the Panhandle, heaviest amounts in the north, lighter to the south. A lot less shower activity now over the interior here, just scattered to isolated showers up to the north and back to the west here. Cook Inlet, the same thing. And dry over the northern half of the state, maybe some Light shower activity over the eastern Arctic coast, but nothing significant. Scattered isolated showers here over the Yukon Cusquam Delta. That next system driving across the Bering Sea now, 992 millibar low back to the northwest there. All that moisture will begin to affect the Pribilof Islands. Uh, during the late afternoon hours, more likely uh, Friday evening here when the winds come up 
the most there ahead of the front. And warm front rains, fog, drizzle, uh, light rain pushes into the eastern Aleutians. And then the cold front trailing back will bring another round of rain out there, eventually sweeping into Adak and Atka. And for the lows tonight, uh, mostly in the 30s over a good portion of interior Alaska, except south and east of the Alaska Range here, mostly in the lower to mid 40s. But upper 30s are in the mid 30s for the Copper River Basin, 40s out to the west over the Bering Sea and the Aleutians and the Panhandle, mostly in the 50s. Highs for tomorrow, 45 to 50 over the central and eastern interior, 50s, mid 50s, south central Alaska, lower 50s, Copper River Basin, and 55 to 60 for the southeast coast. From the Brooks Range out to the Arctic coast, highs 35 to 40. Otherwise, 40s here, lower 40s in the Bering Sea, lower 50s in the Pribilofs, and mid 50s, or lower to mid 50s for the Aleutians. Lows for Friday morning uh, into the 30s over much interior Alaska here. Some areas holding near 40. Uh, Kenai Peninsula areas along Cook Inlet, lower 40s, Kodiak Island, but just about everywhere else are falling into the 30s with 20s across the Brooks Range there and then back into the lower mid 30s for the Arctic coast. Lows uh, 40s to lower 50s for the Panhandle. That will be followed by highs, upper 50s to lower 60s there for the southeast coast, uh, lower 60s in the southern areas there where you may see a little bit more sunshine. And uh, mid-50s here for south-central Alaska, Copper River Basin, west of the Alaska Range, though, in the 40s, all the way out to the Bering Sea, lower 50s to the Pribilofs, and uh, in the uh, 40s and 50s over the eastern interior, and 35 to 42 for the North Slope and Arctic Coast, and trying to push 60 degrees there for uh, ADAC.